have to go through customs twice because we're connecting in Newark. Why are you filming me, Spencer? He told me to start filming. Slowing <laughs> around trying to make it day. I'm just trying to find my way out. Alright, well I'll just chuck this up there. Okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, so we're heading to the airport. We've got Dan, we got Spencer. Steph's actually on a different flight. She's she was not booked. on United. Yeah, she's luckily not on United. Sadly, was not able to pack my red suit because I figured that's the only way to actually survive on United Airlines. Oh, it's in my garage, Jordan. You want to turn around real quick? <laughs> I wonder what they'd do if you walked up to security ruined the red suit. Oh, they'd turn you around so quickly. Are you sure? Like, you wouldn't make it to security, Jordan. <laughs> you just like, like, what are you doing? Dan had to put his laptop in my bag because, well, we, we didn't want to check another backpack, so we put it in my bag. Bring my bag to that. Uh, Pretty good weight. I don't want it to be overweight because usually on international flights it's super expensive. That's a heavy bag, Jordan. 38, uh, 42, 42. I'm gonna go 38. Yeah. I'm gonna go 45. You know, oh, I, I, I lower than nah, nah, nah. Oh, oh, oh. I, it went closer to Jordan. <laughs> oh, wow, dang it. Well, it had to be over 50, right? For it to be considered uh, oversized, so cool. Oh, treat yourself to United Flyers Business Class. Purchase now. Cool. <laughs> I've never had my brush at the top of my book bag before, so I can. Pretty, so pretty. Oh, it's making it all static electricity. You see the effecting? <laughs> Please keep clear of the doors. You are delaying the departure of this train. <laughs> In order to uh, help appease us and or just make us fall asleep, maybe they could be sleeping pills or what, what's the name of that, like uh, submission pills or something so that, you know, when they need to move our seats, they can just drag us off easier. We all know what this is. We all know what this is. I ate one. I ate one. They're good mints. They're not cheap mints, you know? They're good mints. So we got off for flight and we are extremely late for our other flight. I'm pretty sure it's already taken off. There's no point. So we lost Dan to the fray. It's already been changed to Los Angeles. They reschedule us on a flight that leaves in about two hours for Dublin. Then from Dublin we go to Birmingham. So we're waiting on our uh, burger bar stuff. It's all automated at the Newark airport. Everything, every single restaurant you see that, there's tablets on the table. And then they have you order on tablets here. And then after you finish ordering, you go over here to pay. And then you wait for it to get picked up, all texted to you. Yeah, I know, it's incredible. The handing of the food to you. Unless they bring it over by drone. Box of scraps, Tony Stark. It's just like a beige container with a see-through lid. I'm not wowed by the presentation. You expect to be wowed by a $15 what? set of tacos? 15, yeah, that's what I'm saying, $15. Yeah, I want to be wowed by $15 worth of tacos. I got alphabet gummies. Oh, no. a little too much. Dang it. Oh, you go down more. Alright, Spencer. Go down. Okay, I'm done. Thank what? you for filming us. What? There's still crap on the lens. Well, I guess we'll see you all in Dublin. I'm trying to check out. And see if I can get this adapter open. Ow. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Apparently during the flight there were some interesting things that happened in Dan's end. Go ahead, Dan. So, why'd you take the fuzzy off? Oh, what happened to the fuzzy? It was on. Spencer and I were going to take a seat and I, I, something set me off, it tipped me off. There was somebody sitting in my seat already and I knew that she knew she wasn't supposed to be there. So I was like, and I, I leaned over to Spencer and I was like, 
here we go. Is it is it one is it one of those situations where the person's like, I'm gonna do this thing and hope that the other person is too awkward and No, she set a base camp. She set a base camp in her seat. I, I just said, I think that's my seat. And then she went <laughs> and like <laughs> she, her kid was set up next to her in the middle seat, and then she had her all of her crap in my stuff. She took her kid and kinda like dragged her across. <laughs> to the, the third to the window seat, moved most of her stuff into her side, and I had the remnants of her trash in mine. So she's sitting there, and she's trying to get her stuff crammed down, and the lady behind her is like, leaning the seat back onto her. And the lady the lady who was doing it, she just started going, like pushing it back against her. And the lady in front of her is going like, excuse me, excuse me, I'm trying to sit. And she's like, and the lady was like, I'm fucking trying to stick my stuff down here and you keep leaning on back on me. And, and then the lady was like, this is my seat. This is what the seats do, the seats recline. And so they were having this argument that was completely unavoidable. Just say I'm sorry and then do the, yeah. just like. And so that was the beginning of the frustration. Oh my goodness. The beginning of the frustrations with the whole rest thing. Because it kept kind of happening a little bit where the lady would push back. She was playing this online, not online, but it was, she was playing this touch poker game the entire, almost the entire flight. <laughs> And she was like really frustrated a lot of the time. So I tried to crack a joke every once in a while because I noticed when I was watching, I was watching The Accountant and her daughter was watching uh, The House of Mouse or whatever, Mickey Mouse something. And I can hear while I'm watching The Accountant like, <laughs> like the entire time in like this slight kind of phased noise in the background. And so I leaned to her and I was like, oh, I, I can, it's, it's kind of funny, I can hear the Mickey Mouse thing playing. And she's like, oh, I know I can hear it too. It's annoying the hell out of me. <laughs> And she kind of half chuckled. <laughs> and then, go like fast forward a few hours, she went to sleep, um, the daughter was asleep, uh, the lady in front was, must have been pseudo asleep or going to sleep, I don't know. But the, the Irish lady now had her legs like this against the back of the seat. Ooh. And so when the lady would lean back, it would push her legs back. Yeah. And she started going like this, like, like full on jamming with her knees to the lady. And this is the middle of the night, everybody's asleep on the plane. And she's just jamming with her knees as hard as she can, pushing the lady like forward. And she's like, all right, that's it. Like the lady in front of me was like, all right, that's it. Can you stop pushing? And she's like, oh, you keep pushing back on me. And she's like, this is what the chair does. Everybody, she's like, she's, she's like, look around, everybody's chairs are reclined. And so like the lady's getting really upset. They're yelling at each other, they're throwing insults. They're like the Irish lady sitting there f-bomb and stuff mm. like that and the, the lady printer is like oh real nice your daughter's right there and she's like she's asleep yeah. <laughs> so, it just, it, so it was it was a large enough disturbance to have everybody in our area looking you guys well you guys were just far out. out spencer was really in the far back jordan was in the, the top front right so he couldn't even see what was going on and then um what ended up happening was like the stewardess came over and was like, "Excuse me, is there something wrong?" And she, like the lady was like, "Oh, I didn't, she keeps pushing on me. She's kicking my chair." And she was like, "No, I wasn't kicking your chair. This is kicking your chair." And started like kicking <laughs> that back. That sounds like chair. a scene from a movie. It was like she, the, the lady next to me was acting like a complete child. Um, but at the same time, they both they both were just ramping each other up the yeah. entire time. And the lady in front of us was like, "I thought Irish people were supposed to be nice." <laughs> that's, that's, a, oh, that's not a good That's idea. a misconception. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. So I, no, no further action was taken. Apparently, they both got off the plane and everything worked out. But um, just some some feathers were ruffled. Sounds like some feather ruffling. <laughs> I'm happening. just sitting here the entire time, like watching my stuff. Like, okay. <laughs> but I made sure I because because I saw it happening. Because I saw when she had her legs up, there was one instance of a nudge back that nothing like the lady in front didn't say anything about, and I went and I was just ready for it to go off because I didn't want yeah, like yeah. something happen to me like. Oh, <laughs> I, want, I want to be ready to incognito listen. Yeah. But anyway, that was my trip. Well, mine was uneventful. <laughs> Besides I, the fact that I just got the wrong. So we finally got to Birmingham. Stuff's here. Yay! Yeah. She hadn't talked to anybody. She turned feral apparently and didn't know how to speak. <laughs> the first thing you said was, "It's so nice to talk to somebody." <laughs> I know. I, I was. I was so day. happy. I haven't been saying anything. I just didn't. Chilling and doing my own thing. We lost our bags. I Yay, can't they're you guys in lost Dublin. They're in Dublin. We didn't lose our bags. No, they have them. But they just... for some reason during the four hours we were sitting in Dublin, couldn't transfer them over to the correct flight. Those are hanging out there. We'll get them eventually, I'm sure. I like they have our new logo too. Yeah. Love the Yogg's cast. Hey, we're the only one with like outside of the Yogg's cast. We're the only ones with our actual logos. Everything else is just like text. Text. Uh, we made it to our hotel. What a journey.
think Spencer had said it, or did somebody we, said it. Everything that could have gone wrong did go wrong. Yeah. <laughs> did, did we talk about our luggage? We went to the wrong hotel. We went to the hotel we were last time, and then it turned out to not be the right hotel this time. Did anyone push a button? Oh, no. no. The charger for the camera is in the bag that's yeah. in Dublin. I have 28 minutes on here to film. Okay. Look, quick, someone do something funny. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, oh crap. <laughs>